we're not called busker. We are, we, 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 we were street artists. Uh, so the first question I want to ask you is, um, uh, how was the course set up? Uh, the course was set up in uh, five years ago now, and it was set up because it was considered that some of the French and the Spanish street arts is well in advance of the training we have in this country. So this was set up as a way of professionalising the street arts practice. How do you feel about performing on the street? I love the attention. I've, I thrive for it. I, I love it. The, better the, audience, the bigger the audience, the better for me. When did you first start getting interested in just performance in general? Um, I mean, I've been st I was singing since the age of three, so I mean, like I did that for fun. I was doing GCSEs in college and actually going to do carpentry. Then I did a Shakespeare assignment and got an A star for it. And then my teacher said, "Have you ever considered doing performing arts?" And I was just like, "You know what? I think that's more me." What would you say is the ultimate goal of the course? Um, to be able to fully understand how to create performances in a variety of different spaces, how to produce those, not just to create, how to produce those with a good knowledge of all those sort of things that go with it, which means engaging with the wider society and also to be able to advocate the art form because it's underrepresented in this country, it's a bit invisible. Why would you say this is the only street art course in, in Europe? Uh, why? Um, I suppose it's because we dared to do it. We dared to do it. What's your story? What's, why are you doing this? Um, well, uh, my boyfriend lives while well, I was working out in Mauritius at the moment um, and I'm trying to save up to see him for Christmas which is very very expensive so um, I have a skill and I thought um, I'd use it to try and uh, get some extra pennies in so that's what I'm doing out here today. How, how have you enjoyed like busking on the street? It was really nerve-wracking to begin with um, and then uh, two songs in you suddenly completely acclimatised to it. Um, people stop if they want to listen to you and they carry on if they don't. And uh, I found that people are actually really generous here in Manchester. Is, it, uh, is there much competition? Uh, there can be, especially around Christmas. A lot of people come in from Southampton and then the other areas close by because there's no um, laws in Winchester about sort of busking. You, you don't need a license to busk in Winchester, so people come and take advantage of that. But for the most part, um, it's fairly quiet. Busting since '84. How, yeah. how, how did you how did you start off? How did you start busting? Well, I started with guitar, and uh, so in that time it was going out of the street and showing yourself and making a political statement, basically. I went to Spain, and in Spain someone someone uh, ripped off my whole money, and basically then then I had only my rucksack and my guitar, and so. So that, that then actually starts for me to live only from busking. And uh, so I actually dedicated my life to that and uh, decided to, uh, to live it.
we're not called busker. We are, we, 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 we were street artists. <laughs>